Hey there, welcome back to Bourdain. We are working through Anthony Bourdain's cookbook. I'm wearing the white apron today. Can't find my purple one. Let's get started. Our second time making snails, AKA escargot. Let's get moving. 24 very large snails in a can. As Bourdain says, most chefs use canned snails. It's cheaper, it's easier to use, and no one can really tell the difference. We have to strain these things, which the initial smell is pretty repulsive. Not gonna lie, it does not smell good. Give them a little toss, let them hang out, just get rid of all that juice that I'm not too fond of, and we move on. We get some leaves of Swiss chard, which these are actually from my dad's garden. Pretty neat. I've never worked with Swiss chard, so we have to thinly slice. I figure we have to avoid that stem, so we go for a chiffonade, I guess you could say, rolling these up like a cigar, and then thinly slicing. That looks good to me. Next, we are going to need sorrel leaves, which I could not find. Some substitutes I found were mustard greens, collard greens. This is collard, and I slice it into similar sized shapes as sorrel leaves, and we thinly slice, much like our Swiss chart. Next we are on to making a breadcrumb like a mixture with two ounces of shelled walnuts pulsed up in our food processor till nice and fine. Don't do what I'm doing here. That is a sharp blade and I just couldn't help but feel adding breadcrumbs as well and we pulse this together until it is nice and fine. I'm really liking how the French add walnuts to dishes. It adds a layer of flavor that I never thought of. And over to our stovetop into a medium saucepan we get one cup of white wine. Yeah there's a little bit of red in there and we are going to blanch five ounces of spinach as well. Once our wine comes up to a boil, we add our snails, which have been draining, and cook them off. The spinach only needs about a minute or two to cook and get that nice bright green color, and then we're going to toss it into an ice bath. The snails we drain after about two to three minutes cooking. Bourdain calls for 10 minutes, but I want these things to stay nice and tender. The spinach we ensure gets nice and cool. We give it a toss in the water, and then we are going to get all that water out of this. I roll it in a towel and really just squeeze the out of it. And then if you're noticing a theme here, we're going to finally slice this as well. I kind of went really crazy here just to make sure we don't get any long strands of spinach. In a saucepan over medium heat, we add three ounces of small cubed up bacon with a little water just to render out that fat. And this bacon was relatively lean, so I actually added a little butter just to help brown this up. Wardane instructs us to brown these pieces, but not super dark because they are going to brown further. And just to ensure we don't burn anything in the bottom of the pan, I added a splash of stock. Give it a nice stir, and then we add our our snails to the party. Cooking these over medium high heat for about five to 10 minutes, being certain to not overcook these things and something I wasn't crazy about, the snails actually kind of stuck to the bottom of the pan, leaving a quite unattractive fond, if you will. But we then add two garlic cloves, thinly sliced, and two cups of chicken stock or broth. We're going to bring this up to a simmer and cook this low and slow for about 20 minutes. After that time, this is what we're left with. Everything has cooked down nicely. We add our chopped up spinach to the mix, our Swiss chard, and our quote sorrel leaves which may have earned me a guillotine in France but we add this as well and cook everything down till it has wilted for about five minutes. To finish we add our breadcrumb walnut mixture which I did not add all of because you're going to see. This is what we're left with. It's pretty nice. It doesn't look amazing. It's kind of gunky looking. It's not the most appetizing but something pretty neat I found online. People have done this recipe by Bourdain and it's just not the best looking. As you can see this guy got a nice blog and here it just doesn't look the best. So this is where my cute little ramekin comes into play. I'm going to make kind of a casserole like presentation, scooping the mixture inside and smoothing it out and then topping with our breadcrumb walnut mixture and drizzling with a little bit of the walnut oil. This goes into the broiler with all the care to not burn that breadcrumb mixture and this is what we're left with. It looks okay. But overall I think we made a nice little riff off of how this could be presented and it's time for the reason why I make these videos to taste the food. First bite is interesting. I'm not gonna lie, the texture is pretty nice. The bacon is amazing, of course, but the flavor of the snails kind of gets tucked away. My second bite, I ensure we get a snail here, and I like it. The walnut flavor actually comes through here, and it's just a really nice pairing of flavors overall. I have to say, I like this dish more than my first try with escargot. If you'd like to see that, the video will be right here to the left. Thank you for spending your time with me. This was Back to Bourdain. Stay organized and clean up after yourself. You do the best you can.